And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be hitting rank 4 with the Qatari Beast Tribe in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Ifri. So, we are here in uh, Ratika at 3717. And I did enough daily quests to cap out rank 3. Simple as that. So, which really doesn't take long. So, let's talk to Sharkwall. So, the quest is called Wisdom of the Night. Sharkwall's... Uh, uh, Quolt's eyes eagerly dart about the caves of uh, Hope's Stopple. Oh, uh, good sir. Um, it was sir, wasn't it? Mother tells me that you've been working on your... Uh, sorry, working your tail off around the Stopple. Is that why I can't see your tail, perhaps? Um, anyhow... Uh, thanks to you, Father says that we're ready to begin the X vacation. Isn't that so exciting? The shark wall, we must remember to remain calm and composed. These caves are vast, their tunnels burrowing deep into the bowels of the land. Slow, steady, and circumspect is the order of the day. As we speak, a preliminary exploration team is surveying the tunnels to determine where we might uh, best begin the um, excavation. We will await their findings before deciding on the best way to move forward. Understood, Father. I promise to be uh, Sir Suspect. Does that mean that we can uh, begin digging already? So, uh, Toa, Manal. Uh, what news from the depths? So, Digmaster Kitari, I fear that we encountered something rather unexpected. I fear that we may not be able to commence the excavation effort as quickly as we had hoped. We can't start digging, but why? Uh, what did you find out down there? No sooner had we stepped through the entrance, our whiskers twitching in anticipation of the wonders that awaited... Uh, then did we see them. Nasty creatures uh, swarming in every nook and cranny of the caves. So, a most troubling development indeed. We Katari are scribes, not warriors. Um, indeed, it was the presence of fearsome fiends, and worse, blocking our way through the ravel that kept us trapped for a hundred years. Um, are we doomed to suffer a similar fate here? I did defeat the Light Warden, you know. I can do more than just gather things. The ally of Ronka and bringer of the night would fell these terrible beasts for us. I would like more than to take advantage of your kindness, but I fear there is a rub. A rub? A rub. In our preliminary explorations of the Stopple, we have discovered that another ward seals off the tunnels below. A ward not unlike the one that uh, barred the entrance, but <clears throat> with one notable and unfortunate difference. It is a ward impassable to all but the servants of Dalan, namely the Qatari. Now I fear that we will have to find our own way to dispatch the beasts that have uh, borrowed their way up from the depths. But without uh, Sir Madam Mifri's aid, we'll be chewed up the moment we step in there. Uh, tails and whiskers and all. Scree. The great serpent. It speaks. Indeed. And yet it does not move. Till now we have um, had only to follow where it goes. This time it appears we must fully grasp the import of this message. A message which sadly is beyond my comprehension. If only there were someone who... Uh, but of course, the son of Dwat. The son of what? Uh, you mean the tall fellow who likes to wave his arms in the air when he talks? The very same. Uh -huh. uh, Mifri, it appears that we will require your assistance once more. Might you be so kind as to see my boy safely to Sliverbow? Um, that he might summon his... Quint fought for us. Uh, would you kindly me free? Father and I would appreciate it ever so muchly and more. Uh, now come along, Great Serpent. Uh, 
Okay. So we should be able to teleport straight there. Wrong room. <laughs> What's this you say? Uh, fell beasts uh, prowl the tunnel at every turn. Uh, no doubt that there are remnants of the shadows that wander the forest come to life. Uh, demons come to uh, suck dry the currents of Afer that the great woods. Uh, sorry, great wood life, reducing our home to a withered husk. Okay. They could be that, or they could simply be nasty little brutes that crawled their way up from between the rocks. You know, like the ones around here. Uh, Valan, my good sir, madam, you know these creatures too? I do. Mother tells me that when our ancestors first came to Thiverbow, they were set upon by a swarm of ravenous creatures that crawled up from below. Fortunately, one of the elder priests managed to utter an incantation that drove them away. If you look closely at the walls around us, you can see the glyphs uh, carved in them. The same productive, sorry, protective magic that saved our forefathers then um, has been worked into the very walls around us. In a sense, the settlement of Silverbow itself serves as a ward against the dangers that lurk beneath us. Yes, Valan, and it is precisely wards and incantations of this sort that I have made the focus of my studies of late. Um, I remain ever impressed with your knowledge, uh, my good Sir Madams. Uh, might it be too much to ask if you could teach us this incantation to the to the Great Serpent, that he might protect us in our expedition below? Screet. What, what blasphemy do you speak, child? Do you think me a humble servant of the wood? Uh, so brazen as to believe he could enlighten the divine protector itself? Look, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but it strikes me that the there might be a simpler way to approach this. Then why don't we simply fashion a talisman or two for them? You know, like the ones that we always use to keep danger at bay. I can craft a simple object to serve as a vessel, then Quinfort can mutter a few words and enchant... Um, it as he sees fit. Tradition dictates that the talisman be fashioned by the materials um, indelibly connected to the bearer's home. Those of us who live in Sliverbow usually gather what we need from the uh, Cetia swamps, but for our Qatari friends, we'll have to look further east. Mifri, your angling aptitude just might serve us well here. Why don't you head over to uh, Mejrul's tears and see if you can fish us up some uh, shimmer cell. It's a sea dwelling creature whose husk we often carry about to ward off danger. Um, if you're in need of an appetizing bait, I figure a fruit worm should suffice. Speaking of fruit worms, uh, doesn't the way they wriggle and squirm remind you of. On second thought, never mind. And I shall immediately begin weaving an incantation specially tailored to protect our good friends from the sort of terrifying creatures that um, infest the caves and tunnels they seek to explore. A foolproof plan, if ever there was one. Uh, Sharkwell, you can stay here with me in Sliverbow and help me collect the other materials I need. It'll be the perfect opportunity to introduce you to my fellow Blessed. Uh, once we have everything we need, let's meet up again at Hopple's Stopple. I want to test the effectiveness of the talisman for myself before we leave Sharkwell and his friends on their own. Okay, so I need to get a shimmering uh, shell. So let me head to the place where I can get a shimmering shell and we will continue. Okay, so I got to this cliff edge. It seems like I've got a fish off it. So hopefully this won't take too long. 
And I was able to get some of the bait from the vendor in the Qatari camp. Oh, there you go. Done. Let's go. Easy. Right. So, I need to now go and turn the quest in. So, once I get there, we will continue. Okay, so we made it back to Valan. So, ah, there you are. Were you able to find something suitable for making our talisman? There we go. Uh, why, yes, it should serve us quite well. Just give me a moment or two, and I'll round up the material Sharkwell and I gathered from the village and whip up something in no time. So, just add a feather here, here, and here, then thread through this length of rope, and yes, this should do it. Um, it's beautiful, and this will begin the excavation in safety, you say? Not so fast, the talisman needs to be enchanted before it's of any use. Um, as it is now, it's a little more than a fancy little ornament. Well, Quinfort, this is the moment you've been waiting for, isn't it? Uh, say no more. Stand back and bear witness as Quinfort, descendant of Dwattle, weaves an incantation the likes of which your eyes have never seen. Uh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? Worry not, dear Valan. In truth, um, at first I was uncertain which of the many prayers I have memorized uh, would serve us best. A traditional chant of the nice blessed? Uh, but wait, the Qatari are an ancient race, so perhaps this calls for an incantation from ancient Ronka? Long did I ponder, uh, choose poorly, um, after all, and it would mean death and destruction of, for our friends if not the forest itself. Fortunately, it was then that the Great Serpent came to me in a vision, enlightening me to the precise uh, words that will deliver us to salvation, words which have long been reared in the Gospel of Quinfort. You're going to enchant the talisman with ramblings from your dream diary? Now, I really have a bad feeling about this. Oh, don't be silly, Valan. The Great Serpent speaks through me, and I am but a vessel for the Divine Wisdom. Ark, it is precisely as it says in chapter 52, verse 5. So, the Goddess's Claws uh, stained Cerulean. Uh, she did await the arrival of the stewards. The coming of the darkness marked a new dawn. A proud people returned to the wood where the egg once fell from the high above. A great serpent of Ronka, gifted to us uh, by the heavens. Hear the plea of the great sages, Sion, and guide the children of Ronka safely to their ancestral home. Uh, oh, Grace Open, uh, do tell me where my prayers, wh where my prayers heard. Scree. Why, I never heard of an intankation. So inspiring. Your powers truly are something else, Master Quinfort. Uh, you are wise beyond your years, my young Qatari friend. Uh, my knowledge is vast. My powers, indeed, uh, prodigious. And it is more than an honor to wield them in, a, in service of your esteemed people. Though he's uh, prone to bouts of madness from time to time, Winfor is an accomplished priest. The talisman should serve you well. Splendid. Our excavation effort has already been delayed f for far longer than we can afford. Well, uh, Charcoal, this is the moment of truth. There is no telling what dangers lurk beneath us. Are you quite certain that you wish to accompany me to the tunnels below? 
Of course, Father. Why else would I have come to this place with you? Together we will unearth the secrets of our uh, far forefathers and reclaim our history. Very well. It is clear that you do not take the task lightly. Perhaps you are coming of age after all. And with that, I believe it is time that we started digging. Let the excavation begin. The sound effects. Some time later. So, uh, Quato, Natal, and Sharkwall, uh, Quault have safely returned from their preliminary investigation of the tunnels. Okay. Let's talk to them. So, what is this? Another um, incarnation of the Great Serpent made manifest uh, before us? Whatever could be the meaning of this, I must know at once. Um, if you could settle down for just a moment, Master Quinn Fort, I will explain in detail all I witnessed down below. Father and I found the stone. It was big and square and covered with all sorts of writings, just like in the legends. As my boy says, we did indeed find the stele, or at least one piece of them. Uh, what remains? According to Katari legend, the stele uh, comprised four perfectly square stones stacked to form a, a massive pillar, which is to say... Uh, what we have found is but one part of the larger whole. And uh, if that were not enough, um, even the single uh, stellar we found has been so badly weathered through the years, in many places the engravings are all but um, indecipherable. That is not all we found. Uh, lay uh, beside... Sorry, lying beside the shattered stone uh, were several s sad piles of bones. No doubt the remains of our once proud forefathers who carried the stalate down below. I shudder to think of their last moments, torn apart by sin eaters as they hid away our legacy for safekeeping. Father and I fought to carry the stone to the surface, but in that moment something jumped out and stood in our path. Scree. Uh, are my eyes to be believed? The uh, behatted serpent that first accompanied our Kitari friends remains on the surface, which means we are graced by yet another incarnation of the Divine Protector. Third manifestation of the Great Serpent? Just how many of them are there, anyway? At the very least, uh, this is the only one we encountered on our expedition, and yet... Um, if it travelled uh, here from somewhere to guide us in our efforts, it would not be unreasonable to assume that there are others which are this one came from. In truth, it appeared and spoke to us, uh, just as we stood before the shattered stone. I cannot help but believe it was conveying to us a message, just as its uh, brethren guided us to these ancient tunnels. Uh, Sharkwell and I pondered the matter, and we believe that we understand. The Great Serpent bids us the, to unearth the remains of the scattered and weathered stele, and piece together our people's history anew with our um, own hands and minds. I see. If the stones truly have been scattered and weathered by the time, uh, that's the best you could hope to do. Yet yeah, surely you must have been able to make out something from what remained of the stone. What chronicles of Eld were writ there? Uh, uh, what uh, were we able to uh, make of the markings could be described thus. A mighty Ronzo wearing a crown. 
no doubt meant to represent the first emperor of Ronka, uh, stood tall with a blade raised uh, high over his head. Uh, before him cowered a Katari, one of our forefathers no doubt. The carving would seem to depict the momentous occasion uh, that was the first encounter between our people and the Empire. And the implications could not be more clear. Doubtless our ancestors, um, ill-suited for battle, were conquered and subjugated by the might of Ronka, under whose yoke they would find new purpose as the stewards of history. Most fascinating interpretation, Father. <laughs> but if I might be so bold, I saw the drawings quite differently. I was like, what, did he suddenly age 20 years? <laughs> I do not believe the Ronka Emperor would be so cruel as to threaten the poor weak Katari. <coughs> Sorry, I'm reading so much for just a rank 4 quest. <sighs> I believe that he found us vulnerable at the mercy of the fearsome beasts of the forest. He slew the beasts by his own hand and befriended our ancestors, giving us new purpose as his subjects. Your optimism is admirable, my boy, but I fear that such a bright and cheery interpretation of events is unlikely at best. History is full of harsh truths from which we must not avert our eyes. But tales are still sung um, of the First Emperor's might and majesty to this day, um, are they not? I simply cannot fathom that he would be so cruel as to enslave our people. If you ask me, both theories seem reasonable, but if you intend to keep a record of history to pass down to uh, prosperity, you're going to have to choose one. Two conflicting theories of the past, one to be etched in stone and sung until the end of time, and the other uh, destined to be consigned to the dust of the deep. Then caverns below. Uh, truly, this is a turning point in the grand uh, tapestry of the history of the Qatari. Yes, yes, at any rate, I believe uh, we've uh, done all we can here. Now, uh, Valan, I, I say Valan, have you no interest in witnessing this momentous occasion in history? I would not think of insisting that my interpretation is the only valid one, and yet I cannot simply toss it aside in favour of my son's rose-coloured view of the past. How possibly a Scree. The Great Serpent. It speaks again. It does, and this time its message cannot be more clear. It believes that Mifri, the ally of Ronka, should be the one to weigh the options at hand and decide the version of history uh, which shall be inscribed upon the stone. Screen. Though the Qatari father and son have arrived at conflicting interpretations of the events deciphered um, on the Stella, at the bidding of the Great Serpent of Ronka, it has fallen to you to determine which version of history will be recorded. In order to continue the Qatari quest, speak with either Quotil uh, Natal or Shaquil Quot and choose the interpretation of history that you find most convincing. Uh, your choice will affect not only the restoration of the Stella, but the history um, as it will be told for years to come. Once you make your choice, you'll be unable to go back, so choose carefully. Furthermore, yet another serpent clad in curious armor has arrived at the Qatari camp. Oh, that's complete. Okay, so we ranked up. We're now trusted. So... Borrowing the Wisdom of the Nice Blessed, Katari have set up Warding Talisman around um, Hopple's Stopple. Feel free, uh, free from the dangers of wandering beasts. The excavation effort should proceed smoothly from here. A new Katari Beast Quiet Daily Quests are available. Furthermore, you'll be able to undertake three additional quests as a reward. Uh, these additional quests will become available after accepting the current quest. Furthermore, you now have access to a Rider Ranger Wares. 
Cool. So, hmm. You know what? Just for different sake, I'm going to go with the sun. Father maybe have his reasons for thinking as he does, but I choose to believe in a brighter version of history. Uh, yes, I am quite certain that the Ronka Emperor was a benevolent man who protected our ancestors from fearsome beasts and bestowed upon uh, them a position of honour in their society. Surely you can agree. If you elect to vouch for Sharkwalls, the first stellar will be restored to reflect the interpretation of history. Proceed and you will be unable to choose the other one. That's fine. The rewards you'll receive for the quest will be in the same uh, regardless of the choice you make. Fine. Oh, thank you. I am most glad to know that you are a, a cup half full type like myself. Okay, so the quest is called The First Stella of Ronka Benevolent. Uh, Charles Quoll uh, would convince you of the merits of his theory regarding the Ronka protection of the Qatari. I not help but feel uh, the boy is too optimistic for his own good, and yeah, if you would choose to believe his theory, good madam, there is no reason why I cannot do the same. At long last, I can look upon the history of my people in all its glory, but our work is far from over. Pray continue to lend us your aid. Okay, that's complete. So Father and I will send out our finest artisans. The work must begin at once. Cool. So the first stellar has been restored. Its engraving now clearly reflecting Sharkwall's theory of Ronka Bene uh, past, basically. Uh, protected by the talisman, fashioned for them by the Knights Blessed, and uh, heartened by discovering a piece of their heritage, the stewards now pursue their excavation efforts with a newfound zeal. Uh, should you choose to continue to aid them in their cause? Okay, we are done. So we are now uh, rank four with the Qatari. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give a thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.